Welcome guys! Gliders in PUBG are wonderful vehicles that can be used to get kills from the sky or elegantly transport you around the map. But that's obvious. What about the things that aren't obvious? Such as, can you get hit by the red zone while flying? Or how about landing on an airdrop? This video will cover some of those crazy situations. First off, you can successfully deploy a flare from a glider. But in order for this to work, you need to angle the glider so you can shoot the flare almost straight up. This is very helpful, especially if you want to do the next trick. So, the airdrop is coming down and someone is trying to take it. Or perhaps you want to take the airdrop from another team. Simple solution, push the airdrop away using your glider. By sacrificing a bit of glider durability, you can ram your glider into the drop and push it out of course. This works because the airdrops have physics while in the air, unlike when they've landed and come to a halt where they will be hard as rocks and quite immovable. This also works on normal airdrops and from my tests, those can be pushed even further away, perhaps because they're smaller and lighter. Imagine pushing the airdrop over to your teammates who are in the compound, so that they don't have to run out in the open too far. Super cool trick. When flying a glider, you cannot get hit by the red zone. For the longest time, I was convinced that you could. But after testing flying through over 30 high density red zones, the glider did not get hit a single time. These red zones are special and will destroy anything that moves through them on the ground. But the gliders were always safe. And now for something I spent way too many hours doing. Trying to land on an airdrop. This is hard and I've tried over a hundred times. The trick to doing this is to fly at the airdrop at about 100 to 150 meters up, then pull up at the right moment, turn the engine off at the right moment, and then watch the aircraft stall exactly on the right spot while you try to land on a falling object. Despite my many, many attempts, the closest thing I ever got was this. I did land on the airdrop, but only managed to stay there for a short time before tipping over and falling off. Doing this, I noticed that the airdrop itself started tilting. So unless the glider is in perfect balance on the airdrop, it will tilt and fall off. I never quite managed to find the perfect balance, but I think it could be possible to land on the airdrop and stay stable for a few more seconds. And I also learned that the game does not appreciate when you spawn a glider inside an airdrop. When trying to land on the airdrops, I learned some other interesting mechanics of the gliders. First off, I learned how the anti-stall works. When free-falling with the engine fully powered on, the anti-stall system kicks in after a few seconds. Which magically makes the glider almost instantly fly forward, like this. And if you fall for too long, don't worry, as long as the wheels hit the ground first, the glider takes no damage from the impact, just like the other vehicles in the game. Lastly, to my big disappointment, you cannot instantly kill an enemy by ramming your glider into them. I'm not sure if this is a bug or intended, but if a player is on the ground with full HP, you will not be able to kill them even if you fly straight into them at full speed. I would really like to see this change, as hitting someone like this is not only extremely difficult as they will normally try to dodge you, but it is also extremely risky for the pilot. 
I guess you can just hit them twice. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.